At the moment, if you like Huawei phones, you're looking forward to the Mate 20 and an impending release, we hope, in the very near future. Well, here's a sneak peek of the Mate 20 Live. It's the Mate 20 Lite, and like other light phones from Huawei in the past, it's not exactly representative of what we expect the Mate 20 Pro to be, but it gives us a good idea of just how advanced Huawei plans to go with the full-on Mate 20 Pro. That's because as a Mate 20 Lite, this is extremely similar to other high-end phones we've seen from them in the recent past, and also, interestingly, some from Honor too. So what do we got? The Mate 20 Lite has a 6.3 inch screen on the front, and it's almost bezel-less, as you can see. It's got um, a little chin down here at the bottom, some thin bezels around here, and a notch at the top of the screen. You can turn that notch off if you want to. This is an 81% screen to body ratio on the Mate 20 Lite. While we're here at the front, you can probably see at the top here that there are two camera lenses. That's because the selfie game on the Mate 20 Lite is strong. And when we say strong, the camera at the front is technically more impressive than the camera at the back. There's a 24 megapixel lens with an f2.0 aperture joined by a two megapixel lens next to it for depth recognition so you'll get that uh, portrait mode that we're always after in the shots that you take. What's interesting here is that they've equipped it with artificial intelligence, something we see on the back camera of Huawei phones quite often. And the AI does everything from scene recognition to automatic beauty modes. So you're going to have plenty of fun taking selfies with the Mate 20 Lite. On the rear, the camera is slightly lesser in specs. This is 20 megapixels and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, but the aperture is better. It's f1.8, and there's a fingerprint sensor directly below it. The back of the phone is actually quite interesting. If you've been following Huawei recently, you'll know that the uh, P20 Pro and similar phones had the uh, offset camera lenses at the side, whereas the Porsche Design Mate RS had the centrally mounted lenses and a uh, shaded area around it to make them stand out. And that's the same case on the back here, which is very interesting because it makes a different kind of design. According to Porsche design, it's much more fluid and makes sense as a visually coherent product. What else for the uh, Mate 20 Lite? Well, you've got uh, the 6.3 inch Full HD screen. You've got a new generation Kirin 710 processor inside. That's new for this range. And again, with AI capabilities built in, there's a 3,750 milliamp hour battery, and that's good enough for a day and a half of heavy use, or two and a half days nearly, of regular moderate use, which is really great. There's Emotion UI over the top of Android, and it's version 8.2. That introduces a couple of new features. One of them they mentioned is 360 degree face unlock, which means if you're holding the, cat, the phone in landscape to watch video and it turns off or whatever, then the camera will still recognize you, even if the phone is like this and not in portrait mode. Now we've, we've seen that actually work on other Mate devices, so we're not quite sure if that's uh, brand new here, but it's a feature nonetheless. The other interesting point with this, and where parallels can be drawn with Honor's most recent phone, the Honor Play, is that this also has a GPU turbo gaming enhancements. And that's something we didn't expect to see on Huawei phones, uh, mainly because it's been an Honor invention so far, and a very good one depending on the games that you play. Uh, it does give a 60% performance boost if you're playing games that are compatible with the GPU turbo. So if you're a gamer, and play games like um, uh, Player Unknown Battleground and things like that, then you will get a boost by using GPU Turbo and a compatible smartphone. There isn't any feature like um, water resistance. This is a glass device, so it's potentially a little bit fragile. It is nice and thin, 7.6 millimeters, and actually quite nice and light too, 172 grams. And it's immensely holdable because it's not a giant body. 
In fact, it's extremely similar to the Honor Play, but it is more expensive than the Honor Play. This is £380 in the UK and it's going to be released with several network partners and several retail stores and it's going to be coming into shops in the very near future. So is this a sneak peek of the Mate 20 Pro? Not really. It's a look at a budget phone with the Mate 20 name attached. We haven't had a good chance to try this out yet, but we have no reason to expect it's not equally as good, if not better than the Honor Play, which has just been released. So if you're interested in the Mate 20 Pro, uh, keep an eye out. We hope it's gonna come in the near future. But if you're also interested in a slightly cheaper and still Huawei Mate 20 badged phone, this is the Huawei Mate 20 Lite, and you can look out for it very soon.